All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about some Bitcoin mining stocks. So, why am I talking about Bitcoin mining stocks instead of Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies? Well, <clears throat> here's why. So, well, first off, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. Want to know why? Because, it, well, it's free. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, really would appreciate you guys uh, hitting the like button, smashing the uh, subscribe and hitting the bell notification. That way, when you guys do that, well, cool things happen. That way you make money, you learn stuff. And then now it's going to be pushed up in the YouTube algorithms. And then people are going to be like, yeah, whoa, this is awesome. Cool. I'm going to check out that. And then it's contagious. And then more people are like, oh, I'll buy some of that too. Just like the Dogecoin thing uh, with the meme. But anyways, this isn't financial advice. This is just my opinion on the markets and uh, what I see as an opportunity. So back in, uh, we'll, we'll start with Riot. So we'll use this as an example. So if you guys remember back in November around this time, what was Bitcoin? It was bouncing around like 15, 16 K. Um, and then it went all the way up to 30. But if you guys factor that in, if you invested in Bitcoin, Bitcoin basically did a two X. We'll, we'll just say it did a three X. Okay. So a three X. So this, on the other hand, this is just riot. There's several other blockchains. Riot went from, let's just say three bucks or I'm sorry, we'll just be on the safe side, say four bucks to 16 bucks. Actually, it even went higher at one point, but four bucks to 16 bucks. Well, that's a four X. So instead of just doing a three X or a two X, Riot actually doubled that. <laughs> so the reason why it doubles it is just like um, if people are investing in gold or silver or uh, investing in the miners, well, the miners are basically leveraged. So when Bitcoin goes up, they go up even more. When uh, miners go, or when Bitcoin goes down, well, the Bitcoin miners also go down um, at a leveraged position. So it, it is a win-win and lose-lose situation. So you also have to keep that in mind. But basically uh, what we're gonna talk about today is a couple of the main Bitcoin mining stocks and my thoughts on them and which ones I like. And if you guys want, you guys can uh, comment in the, leave your comments below in the comment section and say, hey, no, bro, that's that, that stock stinks. You should be doing this one. Or, hey, that stock is awesome, but you missed this part on it. I don't care. Critique me. Go for it, guys. Um, that, that's what we're all here for. All right, so first we're going to talk about Riot Blockchain. Um, Riot Blockchain what they are doing is basically just a Bitcoin mining operation. Um, here's their website. Uh, it's a neat website. You guys can actually visit all of these websites and take a look at them. But these are the main points I'm going to hit on. So when you're mining Bitcoin, you have something called hash rate. So now you have something called hash rate. And now you're like, who cares about a hash rate? Well, this is why it matters about a hash rate. So as more and more or as time goes on and obviously more people adopt Bitcoin, the hash rate's gonna go up. So you got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. These are ETA hash rates. If you guys don't know what hash rates are, um, I will put a link in the description for one of my other videos that talk about hash rates or you guys can go through the library under cryptocurrencies um, and it talks about the different hash rates or four things you need to look for in a cryptocurrency or altcoin before investing. And hash rates is one of them. You can see hash rate is constantly going up. So basically what that means is there's more and more miners and more and more people saying, yeah, I'm gonna mine Bitcoin, so I'm gonna make it harder for everyone else to mine a Bitcoin. <laughs> and then again, on top of that, the supply being released is going down. And so it's a, a fighting battle. So as the supply is going down, the hashes are going up and basically it just makes, well, a big use of energy. So that's why everyone's like, well, Bitcoin's not sustainable. Bitcoin's not this. Bitcoin's not what? Okay, well, it takes a lot of energy to mine gold too. Um, so different story. And you can also use renewable energy if you wanted to, which is one of these block or one of, which is one of these Bitcoin stocks or Bitcoin mining stocks that we're going to talk about. So that's hash rate. So we're going to start with Riot. Um, just going on their website so you guys can see what they look like. This is just their website. Nothing special. But these guys are at a 
at a hash rate. They are number two. Um, I will summarize it at the end so you guys know what's what and who's at the top, who's at the bottom. But uh, you guys can take a look at them, where they're located. Uh, Riot Blockchain, <clears throat> excuse me. Riot Blockchain is located in the United States. It's in Castle Rock, Colorado. So that does have a good thing going for it. It's in a cold location. So yeah, that's good. But this is my issue with Riot Blockchain. It's not profitable right now, and they still aren't. They're losing a lot of money. Obviously, that'll change, and the reason why is, well, so say, for example, Bitcoin goes up. Bitcoin goes up, great. Okay, awesome. So why does that help it? Well, this is why. So it say it takes $10, or let's use even numbers. Say it takes $1,000 to mine one Bitcoin, and one Bitcoin's worth 10000 bucks. Okay, great. So that means I have profit 9000 bucks Now say that one Bitcoin goes to $20,000, but it's still a thousand bucks to mine that Bitcoin. Okay, great. So now I'm profitable $19,000. So I just 2X. So I basically just increased my profits by 200% by doing nothing. So basically that would make my stock double. And then obviously if it goes to 30,000, or I'm sorry, if it goes to 40,000, so say Bitcoin does another double, it means I've mainly just 4 x So if you guys wanna, um, this is, this is a chart that shows the um, price changes. So down here, you got the S&P 500, 15%. Bitcoin, 284. Right here on the blue one, you have Mara. Mara went up 1.3, or well, 1,300%. Then you have um, Riot Blockchain, which went up 1,400%. And then you have Bit Digital, which went up 3,200%. Um, so you guys can see these are like crazy leveraged. So they go way up and then obviously they go way down compared to Bitcoin. And they want to go over the hash rate. Uh, I think that's going to be the most important thing with these projects and obviously the market cap size. So guys, it's not about the price. Man, my internet's slow. It's not about the price. So look, this is a $1.11 billion market cap. Now that's important. So $1.11 billion for 3.8 at a hash. Now on the other end, you have Mara. Mara has a 10.36 ETA hash, so it's three times the rate as what Riot would be. So if Riot's being valued at a $1.1 billion market cap, well, if you 3.8 ETA hashes and then 10.36 ETA hashes, well, let's just say it's, we'll, we'll just say, we'll be conservative and say it's two times. So if Riot's gonna be a 1.11, so then, Mara should be two times. So it should be a 2.22. So, so technically it should 4X from here, which is 44 bucks to be the same price as Riot. Obviously that's if everything's equal, and but there are different things. So one may be less profitable than the other. So you can kind of see how they really have like no revenue. You guys are situated in Las Vegas. Um, I'll show you guys their website as well. So you can guys, so you guys can take a look at them. Um, that, they are, well, they purchased 70,000 ASIC miners, so they are waiting on those. Obviously, those didn't come in yet. Currently, what Mars hash rate is uh, 184.6 FATA hashes, which is basically 0.18 ADA hashes. So it puts it way down on the list um, compared to Riot, which is 3.8 ADA hashes. So 3.8 is like, what, um, 14 times the size of that? I don't know, 15 times, something like that. So just keep that in mind. So far, uh, Mara, I think they are pricing in big time um, of the future. But either way, what these two stocks have going for them is, well, one, it's listed on the NASDAQ for uh, Mara. And Riot, it is um, on the NASDAQ GS. So one's on the NASDAQ G GS and one's on the NASDAQ CM. So... That's also what it's going for. So that that those are two good things. And on top of that, they're also listed on Robinhood. So you got you and I both know <laughs> that your grandma and grandpa don't like Bitcoin or they probably aren't investing in Bitcoin. No offense to them, they just don't understand it. They don't care to understand it and they don't like technology. And most of the people on Robinhood are well, younger people and millennials. That's just how it is. And those guys are Ironically, the people who mostly like Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. So 
Also keep that in mind as well. Um, here's another stock we're gonna look at is Argo blockchain. So Argo blockchain is based in London. They are in a cold area, which is going for them. It's good to have a cold area so you don't destroy your mining or miners. Um, but anyways, that's for a side note. They are at a 0.64 Feta hash. So they are larger than Mara by six times. Uh, they are pretty undervalued and their market cap is really, really low right now. So do keep that in mind. But compared to Riot, so if you compare them to Riot, well, if they have 0.64 Feta hashes and then they'd have to multiply their cells, multiply itself by six. So then basically 0.75 times six, we're gonna be sitting at $4.5 would be the right value of this stock if it was equal to that. We'd basically call this $4.50 if it was equal to the Riot stock. So basically four and a half to $16, well, it could 4X from here. So relative to Mara, if you um, equal it out into the hash rate, holding everything equal again. This one is a newer, um, a uh, newer ticker on the market. It is listed only on over the counter, which isn't a good thing. That is, I mean, it's very small exposure and institutional investors and not many people can see it. Keep that in mind as well. So that's that stock. Um, let me show you guys their website so you guys can take a look at it. Um, sorry guys, click that ad. Anyways, getting free uh, bat tokens. Sorry if this video is getting a little long, but I want to make sure you guys get a good understanding of each of the uh, stocks because I've seen some videos that they don't really go into it. They just kind of say, oh, yeah, yeah, this, this, and this, and you don't really get an idea of what it is, and then you got to go back and do all this research, and it's like, well, what is the point of your video? Oh, okay, thanks. So here's what they're doing. They're actually mining both Zcash and Bitcoin. So they actually do a little bit of both. Bitcoin and Zcash. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. And the good news is, is they're using hydroelectric energy. That is their main source. So basically they just have a dam in the front and it basically just provides a lot of their energy. So they aren't having to waste a bunch of money. And these guys aren't in huge debt, not huge debt, but the other guys are in debt pretty well. Um, they really have no price to earnings ratio because well, they are in big time debt. And um, this one's not really valued yet. You, you don't have a PE ratio on it. It's too young to get one on it. But anyways, time will tell. Um, the next ticker I wanna go over is BTBT, Bit Digital. This is the one that exploded. So Bit Digital, I don't like how it is a Chinese company. That is a concern to me. Um, because, well, you guys all know what happened with NEO. They got delisted. They currently have a 2.2 FETA hash, which is basically 0.22 um, FETA hash, or ETA hashes with an E, ETA hashes. So they are, in my opinion, really overvalued, and it's kind of weird they have something called a car rental on a Bitcoin mining site. I mean, if that's how you want to diversify, go for it, but... <laughs> It's, it seems kind of sketchy to me that you want to advertise a car rental on there, but I don't know. Go for it. Um, do what you got to do, right? <laughs> um, they have 63 employees. They are in New York. And you're like, well, it's not a Chinese company. Well, the main team behind them, they are Chinese. So most of it is developed over in China. And that's where they're running. The whole company is over in China. Yeah, they may have the operation in the U.S., but it's still mostly in China. So keep that in mind. Um, not really going to go into that one much because, I mean, that was the first thing for me is it's a Chinese company. And uh, we know what happened last time in America with the uh, NEO stock. And it kind of just fell off the face of the earth. I mean, these stocks are already risky enough. You don't really want to uh, advance it even more. The next one is going to be Hive. So Hive, I'm on the fence because ETH... Um, is going to ETH 2.0, so it's staking. These guys mostly um, mine Ethereum. So Ethereum is one of their biggest um, portions of the uh, that they get. So here's Ethereum. This is like 75% of what they get is in Ethereum. 
and then Bitcoin is like a small 25%. And that's an issue because if Ethereum is going proof of stake, well, all their miners are basically doo-doo and useless. They do have a good thing going for them is, well, what they're doing is they are giving clean energy. They're using energy that's renewable. They aren't using like coal power and all kinds of garbage. So that, that's good. Um, they're being more sustainable. These guys are sitting at a 0.3 ADA hash. So they're 300 FATA hashes, but 0.3 ADA hashes. Um, they are low on the totem pole. Obviously, right now on top is going to be your riot. The riot is on the top right now. Um, and they, they definitely did price that in big time. Big, big market cap right now, 1.11 billion and obviously you guys know if bitcoin's going to explode from here well these guys are going to explode with it it doesn't even matter what the market caps are that's that's just what it's going to do but obviously if it tanks from here well then it's going to tank from here and the last one we're going to look at is hut so hut mining hut they do have a one ADA hash rate um they do have a small market cap which is good. I do like how they have a small market cap. They are getting back to somewhat where they were in 2018. Um, not too bad. Uh, could be worse. Could be better. Um, again, um, 1,031 FATA hashes, which is 1.03 ADA hashes, or 031 ADA hashes. They are in North America. So um, they are in the colder weather, which is nice. Uh, that definitely helps for it. And you, you can actually play their video. Um, so they kind of show you their operation, uh, which is which is neat. Buying it's cool. Bitcoin can be difficult and time consuming. But investing in Bitcoin doesn't need to be. Hut8 was founded with the determination to evolve the world of cryptocurrency into a more accessible space. Now sitting as Canada's largest cryptocurrency mining company, Hut8 was named after the building in Bletchley Park, where Alan Turing invented a machine that cracked the German Enigma code during World War II, saving millions of lives and laying the groundwork for modern computing and cryptography. Bitcoin mining secures the Bitcoin blockchain and verifies transactions on the network. Miners are rewarded for their computing work with Bitcoins. These miners are essential to the ecosystem, providing the security needed to transact with Bitcoin without requiring involvement from governments or central banks. Hut8's sole focus is Bitcoin. As a publicly traded company, Hut8 provides investors with a safe and secure way to invest in the currency by purchasing Hut8 shares through your investment advisor or online brokerage. Through an exclusive North American partnership with the BitFury Group, the world's leading full-service blockchain technology company, Hut8 receives BitFury's Blockbox data mining centers and the latest ASIC chips, providing a complete turnkey service. Hut8's facilities are fully funded and access low-cost electricity, reducing a major cost associated with mining. With Hut8, investors avoid the need to wire money offshore, create online wallets, and store their Bitcoin. Hut8 is your simple and secure way to invest. So that's also another factor I didn't uh, hit on top of. A lot of people are scared to invest in Bitcoin because they got to get a wallet. They got to remember the private keys. They got to do all kinds of other stuff. And if they lose it, it's gone forever. It's really not that uh, complicated, but some people overcomplicate it. But just for those people who don't understand it, um, HUT will allow you to get the Bitcoin exposure and at a leveraged rate without having to actually go out there and buy the Bitcoin. So those are the ones that um, those are the main uh, Bitcoin mining stocks we're looking at. Um, you guys can do some more research, learn about them, uh, look at the hash rates. Always look at the hash rates for each of the companies because they could say, oh, yeah, we do this, this and this and this. And if they aren't making any money like we saw on Mara, they aren't going to be getting to that hash rate until the end of the year. And who knows from now, Bitcoin may be at the top and then. Who knows, maybe a month after it pops or it goes straight to the top and it just goes way down. We don't know. Yeah, this charts say, yeah, it's going to go up. But do you really know? What if it's different this time? What if it goes down? What if it pops? What if everyone says, oh, forget Bitcoin. I don't like it anymore. No one knows. It's always a risk. So oh, you know what they say. Money now is always better than money later. Um, so we're just going to run it from the top. So Mara, they got like a 0.1 
eta hat or theta hat. Yeah, I'm sorry, 0.1 eta hashes. Then you have um, CLSK, which is the uh, clean mining one, or clear clean spark, which is basically all the um, clean energy you want. Uh, that one is 300 theta hashes, which is 0.3 eta hashes. Then we have Hive, which is just about one eta hash. That was the one uh, that had the 75% Ethereum, uh, which is basically going to be non-existent um, in the future once ETH 2.0 finally just takes over. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, I, yeah, definitely keep that in mind because if that happens, well, then they're going to have to make a whole revamp and spend a bunch of money. And, but they are the longest or the oldest uh, blockchain uh, company that's publicly traded. They're from like uh, 1987. Um, well, not blockchain, but like their company has been in business since 1987. Uh, then you have HUT8, which is the one we just talked about for 1.03 ADA hashes. And then you have the uh, BTBT uh, Bit Digital at about 2.0. Two ADA hashes, I think it was. And then you have Riot Blockchain, which is at 3.8 ADA hashes. So that's just a quick overview of the different stocks. Um, in my opinion, the ones I'm leaning towards are either Mara is going to be in the future, so we'll have to see what happens. Would be either Riot, um, maybe CLSK, just because it's got clean energy. I do like HUT 8, and then possibly as a spec play, Argo. Argo does have a low hash rate and they are newer so they aren't as proven and they are over the counter and possibly Riot because Riot they have the Robin Hood effect um, so they actually are listed on Robin Hood and Mara may be speculated on as well on Robin, Robin Hood because if Riot gets so expensive then people are going to be like oh well I'll just buy Mara because it's cheaper um, without really doing any research. Hence why when Tesla split up <laughs> or diluted their stock, everyone was like, oh, it's so much cheaper. Let's buy more. Well, no, it makes it cost way more now. <laughs> and when you're buying that share, it's still the same exact price in the same exact value. People aren't really calculating in market caps. They're just going, oh, well, the price is low, whatever. So guys, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We make videos like this so we can teach you guys about cryptocurrencies, how to make money. It's not financial advice, but hey, if you make money, it works, right? Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you in the next one. All right, guys. We almost forgot our wisdom one-liner. Um, we are getting pretty close to completing them. But let's go in Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. To search out a matter is the glory of kings. As the heavens are high and the earth is deep, so the hearts of kings are unsearchable. It's pretty deep stuff. What are your thoughts on that, guys? Leave that in the comments below. My thoughts are, well, the kings, they know a lot about what's going on and they have a lot of inside information, almost like a president does. Um, but anyways, that's, that's just my thoughts.